Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today we have another drawing request and our drawing for the day is a bearded dragon sitting on a little rock in the sun in the desert. Um, the bearded dragon is a really fun one. It's not too hard. I know he looks a little complicated, but he's not too bad. Bearded dragons are really cool animals. They are reptiles and they love to bask in the sun on a rock so that they can just get all the heat into their bodies because they're cold blooded. So we are going to be drawing this little guy here and I will show you how to add the colors in to kind of make it look like he has those plates. So if you've never seen one in real life, they have plates on their bodies. They're really spiky too. Maybe I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna work on our bearded dragon today. Um, you probably wanna start with a pencil but you go get your drawing supplies, whatever those are, and we will get started. All right, guys, we are gonna start by drawing out our bearded dragon, obviously, and then we'll work on all the stuff in the background later. The bearded dragon, like I said, is really spiky, so we have some parts that we're gonna do little zigzags to make it look spiky, kind of like our hedgehog yesterday, and some parts are gonna be more smooth. So I think the easiest part to start with is going to be the top of the head. So near the left side of my paper, I'm gonna draw a straight line like this. Just a little one with a bump on it, like that. It's kind of like a triangle, but it's round on top. On the other side of this straight line, I am going to draw another triangle, but this one is a little bit wider. See how that one's skinnier and this one is more wide? that. Next to this bump here, I'm going to draw this kind of arrow shape. So kind of like a little arrow, there we go, for where the mouth is going to go. When we start off, this one had a lot of weird little shapes, but it starts to get easier as we keep going. In this space here, I'm going to draw an oval. This is where the eye is going to go. And I'm going to draw a little smiley mouth inside that oval for where the reflection will be. And this time for the eye, instead of filling it in all black, I'm going to color in like a little black oval inside so that I can have this part be a color if I want to. If you don't want to, you just want to color it all black, that's fine. Now this here is like the other eye, but it's looking the other way so we can't see it. So if you're wondering what that bump is, that's what it is. Now, underneath this triangle arrow shape we made, we're gonna make a few little spikies that kind of go under, and then we'll make a straight line like that that just stops, and another little one right there. This is kind of to show his chin. Now let's start back up over by this eye. We're going to make some more spikies and they kind of slowly turn down until we get close to these little lines we made before. So we got the shape for the head pretty much done. We just got to draw that, that mouth. We start right where the point is, but a little bit over. So leave a little space. And I kind of go straight and then it dips down. And then I like to have a smile so I have it curved back up a little bit you can add that little line there to make it look like a smile. All right, so now what we will do is we're actually gonna draw the line for the chest and the belly. So I would say start kind of below these spikes. Move your way down a little bit, leaving some space. And we are going to draw a line that first kind of goes straight and then curves under. And it stops kind of below these spikes. Now before I go on any more this direction, I'm gonna draw that leg. So starting above in this empty space where it's touching the head, gonna have a line that goes out and then add a few little spikies in there. I did two. And then a straight line again. And then the other side of the leg. It starts where it's touching the chest. So I leave a little space above another straight line. For the toes, they're kind of like wiggly. 
I don't know what to call this really, like a bump, like a wiggly bump line. Before I draw the whole toe, I actually like to draw one line for each toe. So this is the top of one toe. Here's the top of another. And then see how here they're kind of spread apart. I'm going to draw another line this way and another one this way. I know this is weird. If this part was kind of tricky for you or a little confusing, you can just draw them kind of like the hedgehog toes we did yesterday, these little bumps. Now I drew all these lines. This toe is just going to connect and touch the other line I drew. This one I'm going to have that line go up and then have this side have another line that goes up. And now I got my toes. They're kind of spread apart. Then of course you can add the little claws because they do have big claws. Now we'll work on this leg. So I go up just in this empty space between this line and the head. And I'm going to start with a curved line like this. And then straight up and down. If it doesn't touch the belly that you drew before, either make the belly longer or maybe just draw the line a little different. But you need these two lines to touch. So straight line up and down. And then the other side, straight line up and down. I'm going to go here and I'm going to add a few little spikies and then a long line. And then we'll work on these toes. Um, you can draw the toes more separate this time if you think that's a little bit easier. On this side, this last toe is going to be touching this one here. And then add your little triangle claws. Okay. Now what we're going to work on is the spiky back. So maybe about um, in the middle of these spikes on the side of the head. We're going to draw a few little spikes on the back that go down. And then we're going to do a little swoop like this and add a few more spikes. When you do these little spikes, they should kind of be low enough that the belly could connect, uh, continue and connect. See how my belly can just go over here and connect, which is what we're going to do next. So we got the body. Now we're going to draw this back leg because he's relaxing quite a bit. We're going to add some spikies and then a straight line. And then starting at the bottom of the belly where these spikes are, another straight line like that. And for these toes, I do two curved lines on both sides and then you just do little rounded lines like that because that toes or that foot is kind of in the back the toes are a little bit smaller and then finally all we have to do is add the tail so we're gonna do a line that starts just a little curve and then it can curve more and more and you can kind of curve back a little bit if you want and with the bearded dragon's tail, we really want it to look big at the base and skinny and pointy at the top because their tails are really thick. So we're going to start with a lot of space between our two lines. And as we get further up the tail, we let our marker or pencil get closer and closer and closer until they touch. So you have a nice pointy tail. And with that, we are done drawing our dragon. But we do have some more stuff to add. We're going to add our rock and our sand and our cactus. And then I'm going to show you how to color this guy in. So let's start here on the rock. I just do kind of like a bumpy line that goes all the way to the bottom of the page. And then on the other side, another bumpy line. There's his rock that he's sitting on. And then behind this bumpy line, Draw a line that's maybe just a little bit wiggly, but not too much. That's for the sand. And then to draw our cactus, I did two different kinds. One kind, you just go up straight, and then you kind of have a line that bends out and up, and then it goes over and back. And then the line keeps going up straight, and then it curved, kind of like a, like a frowny knot. Curved line that goes down. And then I like to draw another arm for the cactus, but I make it a little bit lower than the first one. And then for this one, it's a circle with a smaller circle. 
If you want them to look even more detailed, you can draw some lines on the cactus. What I do is I barely press on my paper and I lift my marker up a few times so I have these breaks in the lines. That way you don't end up with these really solid lines that make it kind of hard to look at and it just kind of looks more natural. So on the round one I'm going to do some curved lines that have some breaks in them. And then of course you want to add some little spikes on the cactus because cactuses are very, very prickly. Alright, and then of course our sun, and like I've done in a few videos now, I'm going to make some long rectangles so that I can actually color those in yellow instead of just doing black lines. Alright, so what we're going to be working on now is coloring in our bearded dragon. Now for this, I recommend you get crayons because markers you probably don't have more than one type of brown and you really want to get yourself a lighter and a darker brown if you can. If you can't find a lighter and a darker brown, a yellow and a brown would probably work just as well. Also some bearded dragons are more red so you can do two types of red or more purplish so you can do purple. Maybe just get two different types of a color that you really like and you can make the bearded dragon more unique. I'm going to leave this light one to the side for now. We're going to start by making some panels of the darker brown or darker color that you choose. On the tail, I'm going to start by drawing some rectangles that are a little bit different size from each other. And if you really want, you can make these rectangles um, either connect all the way to the other side like I did here on the tail end or you can have them stop halfway and then of course fill those in. Now we'll add the little patches on this back leg. So I'm going to draw a line like as if this straight line continued. I'm going to do that with brown and then underneath just kind of like a wiggly line. Let me fill that in. And then a, few, a little stripe on this leg here and a little patch right where the toes and the foot kind of connect. Now let's do this leg. We're going to do some little rectangles, kind of just like the tail. So I like to start at the top of the shoulder, draw a little bit of a curved rectangle, and then just keep adding more. They'll probably get smaller and smaller as they go down, and then a little patch kind of where the toes and the feet meet. And then, of course, fill those in. Now we're going to do the other leg, and it's the same thing except because this leg is a little bit behind. We're not going to make our rectangles too huge this time. And we almost forgot the back here. We're going to do a line that's kind of just in the middle of this empty space that's right here. I have it curved down a little bit and move over until it's touching the rest of the back. And then just like this leg, how we left these spikes to be the light color, we're going to do that on the back too. So see how I left those spikes white for now? We'll color them in light brown later. And then we got the face. For the face, in this area here, start on the end of this little triangle. Have it go down and then bend up. It's almost like this little line kind of connects with the mouth where it curves down. And we'll fill that in. Then you are going to make this eyelid a little bit brown just on the edge here. And then we're going to make kind of a, almost like a triangle that connects back to the eye and fill that in. And if I'm not mistaken, we did all of our dark patches. So now you can move on to your lighter color and you can fill in the rest of your bearded dragon. All 
All right, guys, I'm going to let you color in the rest however you want to color it. Um, but have fun coloring it all in. And just take your time because there's lots of little details that you guys can color in. All right, guys, I hope you had fun drawing our bearded dragons today. I know they were a little bit tricky with some of those lines, but I think that they turned out really cute. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.